continuing breaking news of the fire near Apple, Idaho, that is prompting level three evacuation orders. All 700 something people who call Apple home are being told to leave now. Good evening and thank you for joining us for Kremlin News at 6 tonight. I'm Mark Hanrahan and I'm Whitney Ward. We do begin with continuing breaking news. So take a look at your screen right now. This is the map that shows where those evacuation boundaries are. There are level two and level three. Level three meaning go now. Level two means be getting ready to go. These are just south or just north of Silverwood. The fire is burning on East Sarah Loop Road. Both directions of Highway 54 are closed between North Revelation and US 95 and US 95 is closed in both directions near East Brunner Road. We bring you complete team coverage tonight. Chief Meteorologist Jeremy the Goo is tracking conditions right now. We start though with our Kyle Simchuk who joins us live from Athol and Kyle. What can you tell us? Well, yeah, Mark, we do have a new update at this hour, so I want to get straight to Kootenai County Fire and Rescue Chief Chris Way at Chief. What is that new information? Uh, so I just got an update from the command post. Uh, it looks like we're at a, between 50 and 60 acres of total area burned. I do have a little bit of good news. We've got about a 70 to 80 percent containment right now. That's largely due to all the aircraft that the Idaho Department of Lands brought in. Uh, so we're uh, we're going to be evaluating uh, what we need to get to 100 percent containment. Uh, obviously, we understand people are evacuated right now, so the next step is going to be as soon as we can achieve really good containment, uh, getting people back into their houses and, and lifting some of the, the evacuations. And you were telling me earlier this was a, a four alarm yeah, so, fire? Uh, you know, locally we do alarms, so this is the largest alarm we can go in Kootenai County. Uh, so we have a four, four alarms worth of resources. We had the last count I had was 28 local Kootenai County apparatus. We have mutual aid from Bonner County as well. We know Idaho Department of Lands. They had 10 to 12 aircraft fighting the fire as well as uh, lots of command staff. And they were talking about a total uh, resource allocation of about 150 to 200 IDL personnel as well. I don't know what's come in or what hasn't come into this point. And obviously you have the Hayden Creek fire burning not too far from here. So you're pulling some resources off of the Hayden Creek? Yeah, we, uh, the Ridge Creek fire is burning over near Hayden. Um, right now, uh, we pulled certainly some IDL resources. We didn't have any local resources that left that, but we had IDL resources, and that's probably honestly what was able to save this so quickly is that we were able to pull all the air resources that were already in the air and flying over at Ridge Creek uh, to get over here and um, uh, help us with this fire. And for the people who have been evacuated, do you expect they'll be able to return at some point tonight or yes. later this evening? Yes, I feel very confident. I'm my goal. Uh, what I'm hearing is in two hours from now, we'd be able to start lifting the evacuations. Obviously, if it can be sooner, we'd love to make it sooner. But people's safety is our top priority right now. So until we can get confirmation that we have line around the fire, the retardant drops have gotten us additional line in the area the fire was going. The wind has shifted a little bit, which has helped. Uh, as long as all of those things happen, I, I feel very confident that we'll be able to lift the evacuation sometime later this evening. And real quick, any word on any damage to structures, uh, property? We did get word that there is potentially one outbuilding or shop, don't know exactly how to describe it, uh, lost, but there weren't any houses. And, and I want to credit the firefighters for doing a great job on that. I mean, we had 520 some houses in the in the direct path of this fire. So to think, or 525 structures. So to think that, uh, you know, the possibilities we only lost one small shop. That's pretty incredible. Great job by all the men and women working out here. Well, and for only a few hours into this 70 to 80% contained, that is certainly good news. Uh, Mark and Whitney, I'll send it back to you. All right, thank you very much. We also want to show you this video now. This is from our own tower cam of the airdrops that were being used to fight this fire. We just heard uh, Christopher Way talking about how important those airdrops were, both retardant, which is the red that you see, and then just multiple water drops as well from choppers as well as aircraft. And we know that that turned out to be the key difference that brought this fire back under control yeah, tonight. Yeah, the chief there crediting the aircraft and the resources in the air for helping them to save the structures there. And as he said, hopefully lift those evacuation orders in the next couple of hours. So stay tuned for more information on this one.